This video is sponsored by Ovalex and Police Simulator 2023. When we were reached out to make a video on Police Simulator 2023, I'm not going to say that I wasn't at least a little bit skeptical. Could an independent studio really capture anything of value in a simulation that's all about being a police officer? Sure, the game doesn't have the depth where you go inside the department or interact with other officers. Not that being a desk jockey is exciting, but it does have an interesting prospect at play because you do play as a patrol officer of which you get to choose between a standard officer or an undercover one. There are vehicle upgrades and various cities you can play in, such as Los Angeles or even Rome. But the real crux is no matter where you play, there's a massive number of things you can do in a given city. Yes, you can pull anyone over at any time and give them tickets. You know, if you just want to be that kind of officer. The various tasks you can do aren't really limited to just pulling over speedsters. You could throw spikes out to stop a high-speed chase. You can issue parking tickets or be lenient. You actually do get to choose how big of a stickler you want to be. You get to participate in high-speed chases. And yes, you get to ram your car into them, which is way more fun than it should be. There are missions at play, and the city is littered with them everywhere. And yes, you're expected to stop at car washes and fill up on gas. That way you're always ready for what's ahead and doing so in style. Upgrades to cars give you more durability, and buying new cars, which you get by completing missions and earning cash, allows you to go even faster, look even cooler, and do even more complex missions. After all, you're not going to be chasing down muscle cars in a basic cruiser. The thing that surprised me the most is that while the visuals may not be the best, the gameplay itself is actually quite enjoyable. I was only planning on recording about an hour of footage for the sake of this video, but I ended up spending nearly six straight hours playing the game because I couldn't help with how much fun I was having. The gameplay was addicting. It does take a little bit of time to get used to the controls. You sort of have to experiment with them out the gate. But once you get a grasp on them, the game really just opens up. This is a game all about being a cop, and you get to decide if you want to be a good one, a stuck-up cop, or just one that lets things slide. The game has three modes, but I spent a majority of my time in career mode, which gives you the most fun, in my opinion, with unlimited mission options. Challenge mode has you complete very specific tasks like robots, parking tickets, armor missions, escorts, radar, and more. There are some missions that change out daily, giving you a reason to check back into this mode often. The third mode is a free ride, where you just freely drive around the cities. In earnest, you can sort of already do this in career mode, so it didn't really matter to me, but it's there if you want to learn the maps and memorize locations for the more complicated missions. I mentioned you can customize your car by buying new ones and upgrading some parts, but you can also change out the rims, add some paint, or mess with the plates. It's not much, but it's just enough to give you a little personality on your ride. Go ahead and check out Police Simulator 2023 for yourself through the eShop link in the description. And I want to know, are you ready to catch some bad guys? Enjoy some gameplay as we sign out this video.
Oh, my God.